Is that me? No. Well, it's the Lambo we're in the corner. Uh, well, I'm back upstairs, but I'm a bit late because, I don't know, everything else in life took over for a brief while. And to be perfectly honest, it's it's horrible, horrible being up here. Uh, the humidity is insane. Doesn't even start to describe it. It's it's actually disgusting. It's hot and it's humid and it's dense, and I do not like it. Um, but it is what it is, and I need to get a video down. And I was actually thinking about something about structure and stuff like that, but maybe I should instead focus on a thought I had right before I started this video, um, in part because of how late it is. And the fact that I'm, I'm honestly not motivated to, uh, to making these videos. I really am. Uh, the first two maybe, but at this point, no. Uh, finding a topic, <sighs> making the time for it, talking on camera, I don't know, I don't like doing them, I don't, I don't like doing them, um, but there are two things that are going through my head, one is, I don't know if you can call it discipline, but at least pushing myself to doing something, I think that this research should be a chance to do what I had abandoned long ago, and actually push myself. You cannot do something entirely for fun and expect it to be successful. I don't mean success successful in that this will make any money or anything. I mean successful in that I'll actually finish it. Which obviously I didn't do with the last one because I lost all of it long before it was even even a doable start, to be perfectly honest. Um, procrastination, all that good stuff. <sighs> Gotta push it out of the way and force myself into doing these things. And then there was the other thing. I, I don't even know how I started looking at it. Um, but I was watching some random, oh yeah, uh, I was watching a Tomska video about memes. Uh, Tomska, T-O-M-S-K. SKA, um, the guy who does the ASDF movies, or did, but now he does various things, and he had an old, slightly old video on memes, and how memes were usually awful in media, because they overproduced it, as he put it, and I think maybe I've been doing that, or at least trying, I've been trying to do that. I've been trying to overproduce things. I have been so focused on things being picture perfect before I let anyone see anything. And I'm starting to think that that's a character flaw on my side. I always thought of it as a strength, as some kind of positive character trait that I wanted to present things when they were good and nice, but it might just be the old artist dilemma about nothing ever being finished because you can always make it better. So you never, you never finish a book, a painting, a game, a movie. You just release what you have at that point. And maybe I should take that to heart. And just get on with it. And the whole overproduced thing kind of slipped into the idea that modern media, at least if you're not a multi-million corporation trying to do media, modern uh, independent media, you might call it, is kind of anti-overproducing things 
If you try too hard, it shows. You look like a tryhard. And people like more organic things. And if I ever get to 10 views on any single video or anything, it might be worth remembering that. Not to try and overproduce things. But I want quality. I don't want I don't want these videos because they're they're not quality. It's really a dilemma. It's really me pushing against my natural instincts. I don't want to make these videos because none of them are quality. They're not scripted. There's no real effort put into the visuals. I mean, I think I overthink where I'm actually shooting them. Spent about 10 minutes trying to decide if I should go up here and shoot it out the window in the dark. And <laughs> what the hell difference does it even make? Um, so I'm constantly trying to overproduce because I want to make quality. I want to make something good. I want to make something that I would watch. I would not watch these videos. I love things like the Vlog Brothers, but even then... I am very skeptical and, and I don't watch everything because someone just talking. Why do people watch that? I've been talking for six and a half minutes now and does it even make any sense? Well, I just got to throw all that to the curb. I got to stop overproducing it. I got to stop even producing it, I guess. If it's not over, it's just producing. I need to underproduce. I need to. I need to be more of an open box. I need to not protect my creations. I need to just let everything fall as it may. In the words of Tyler Durden. Not the best person to quote, maybe. Considering he was a terrorist. Um. But yeah, I need to stop overthinking things. I need to stop overproducing things. I've already got, <clears throat> I've already got uh, most of the core story reconstructed, like in 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 very short sentences, little bits and pieces. But I'm constantly looking at it and feeling that I've forgotten something because there are only or was it 46 pieces this time and there were 50 last time? And part of me knows that it's just because I had some weird idea I put in last time here and there. And those last four were probably not that important because the story fits together and it's basically the same story, but I even think that I've improved on it. But I just keep turning it over and over instead of moving on to the next step. Just like I keep rattling on in this video, instead of just pointing out the bleeping obvious. I'm overthinking it. I'm overproducing it. It's better to produce something mediocre and get it out there than it is to produce something amazing and never, ever get it out. I can produce everything amazing in my head. I always think it's amazing in my head. But I need to get something out. And if I can just produce something mediocre at first, then I have a base to build on. I think that's an important thing for me to realize. I need to produce something so that I have a base to build on. But I keep wanting to make everything perfect. And it never, ever will be just like this goddamn video it's atrocious it's horrible and it's way too long and nobody's going to watch it but i need to make it and i need to get it out there because otherwise i never will god damn it